What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop and Al. My name is Max and today we are taking a look at this 2014 Alfa Romeo 4C. The miniature supercar by Alfa Romeo and it has been tuned, it's got a little bit more power and this is Thomas his car and Thomas is the owner of the Italian Tour. Go check it out on Instagram. Uh, they organize tours to Italy to you know, have a taste of the Italian good life, driving nice roads, eating some nice food, stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, it is not exclusively for Italian cars. You can join with any car you would like. So go check it out if you're interested in that. This definitely is a great car to do an Italian Tour with because Oh man, the 4C is such a special little car. And I caught myself uh, when I was recording the POV drive on the B road that I enjoyed this car a lot. While I think I, a couple of years ago, I really didn't enjoy it that much. So I think either I have grown up and started enjoying different cars or, you know, cars have changed and that made me appreciate this car a little bit more. But today I'm going to show you around it. We're going to talk about the development of this car and about the tune that's on it and then we'll take it for a drive towards the autobahn for an autobahn blast now the 4c 4c stands for four cylinder basically and it was built between 2013 and 2020 they made around uh, 9,000 of them just over 9,000, and it was the first real sports car by alfa romeo for the people basically the 8c of course had been built but yeah, that was so limited and exclusive that it wasn't really a sports car for the people. This is, it's 925 kilos, carbon tub, mid-engine supercar, basically. It, it's similar to a Lotus Exige in weight, also, of course, in setup. And it looks freaking amazing. I think this is such a beautiful car. It's got the optional carbon fiber headlights, which was a 3000 euro option. That is quite expensive. And we've got a beautiful red one today with the license plate on the right, of course. Beautiful grille, very subtle, just a beautiful car. And uh, well, let's take a look at these wheels. So these are the upgraded wheels. As standard it came on 17 18 inch this is the upgraded one 18 19 inch and Thomas has fitted this car with semi slick tires so these Yokohamas have been on here for I think like four or five years tire wear is nearly absent because the car is so light and at the front axle especially of course because the wheels are not driven and it's only got like 38% of the weight over the front axle uh, so these tires, they work really, really well. 215s at the front. And then behind that, we've got Brembo brakes, which work really well. It stops from 100 kilometers an hour in 35 meters, which is very quick. And then at the rear, we've got these Federal tires, semi-slicks as well. Uh, these tires are nearly done though, uh, but Thomas didn't really have the time to get some new ones on there, but it doesn't really matter. It's still a lot of fun to drive it just lacks a little bit of grip when you go for the aggressive launch control which i will show you uh, later on 235 section tire at the rear and a 19 inch as i said of course the classic o shaped wheels very nice and as i said mid-engine there it is you've got a nice air intake here and it it really is a miniature supercar it just looks like your average mid-engine supercar like an Audi R8 or a Huracan or a McLaren or whatever it just it has the same proportions just smaller lighter more nimble cheaper nice little exhaust at the rear and I'll show you guys the engine there we go ah it's not assisted <laughs> So the little 1.75 liter four cylinder turbocharged engine, as you can see, all carbon fiber back there as well. And we've got a carbon fiber tub that weighs 65 kilos, which is insane. Uh, the engine stock 240 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque. 
But with this tune by Beek Auto Racing in the Netherlands, uh, this car now delivers 300 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. It's limited at 400 newton meters of torque. And we've also got a BMC air filter. And uh, that's about it. The next thing that uh, Thomas would do is an intercooler because it gets hot in there and then the engine starts underperforming basically. Uh, so an intercooler would help with that. And you can see the carbon tub here. Absolutely beautiful, this gloss carbon all the way around in the foot wells. Super nice pedals as well. Yeah, this is a serious little car. So cool. I also love the way the roof line is like, it's, it's like a mini Koenigsegg as well. Do you see that? Do you see the roof line? It has that same chopped off with the windshield, chopped off roof. Very cool. All right, so the interior, we've got these little sports seats, which are actually pretty nice. Partition here to separate you from the engine, a little pouch. Yeah, there's very little storage. There's a little pouch there as well, and that's about it. No door cards, nothing. Quirky little steering wheel as well, with this two-spoke design and this flat bottom. And uh, well, the interior is super basic. So we've got the gearbox stuff down here. We've got a six speed dual clutch transmission. And uh, this is, so this is your gear selector basically. And then we've got driving modes down here. And that's basically it. Okay, let's start it up. So actually produces quite a decent sound for four cylinder, it's quite loud. Select first gear and we're going to select race mode by pushing this button all the way up and then holding it there until the speedo changes to yellow. There we go, Alfa Romeo race. And that means that everything is off the traction control. Do we have a separate button somewhere? I don't think so, I think that's your only option. And uh, let's go. The thing you notice when you drive off the first time is that weight, that low weight, because it just immediately takes off. There's no like delay, it just, you, you press your foot down on the accelerator and immediately you go, which is very nice. We've got double wishbones at the front, McPherson struts at the rear. I mean, you've got some kind of composite for the body panels as well. And then that carbon top, it is a very advanced little car, this. Now, as I said, we've got a more aggressive launch control as well. So the zero to 100 time, claimed by Alfa Romeo is four and a half seconds stock. And that is with the three and a half thousand RPM launch control. So I'll demonstrate that one right now. You just put your foot on the brake, first gear, full throttle, three and a half, release. And there you go very quick actually <laughs> it hooks up nicely and we did like 4.3 I think with this tune now the more aggressive one is foot on the brake full throttle left pedal and it goes to six release and it upshifts automatically but you have a little bit more wheel spin of course so I don't think this is actually quicker right now I can imagine that if Thomas would put some new semi-slicks on there and you would get them nice and hot, uh, that would be very, very quick. Because 6,000 RPM is a very aggressive launch control. But, damn, it really 
really grips. I mean, it, it's just with that launch control that it struggles, basically. And when you shift close to the red line, the shift gets nice and aggressive as well. I think it's when you just touch the rev limiter and you shift, you get this nice bang. Otherwise, it's not the most aggressive shift, but that's absolutely fine. You also don't want to upset the balance of the car too much. I forgot to tell you that Thomas also changed the camber a little bit. So it's got a little bit more camber. And apparently that helps with the nervousness a little bit, but it's still quite nervous uh, at high speeds. You really have to try hard to get that rear end to step out. I think if you would carry a little bit more speed and then you have to be like higher up in the refs, above 4,000 I think, in second gear, I think you would be able to slide it around quite nicely because the balance is absolutely amazing. But it's got a lot of grip still with these older tires. Now, let's go to automatic mode. Oh, that's not possible when you're in race. Okay. Learn something again. So we don't have power steering which does take some getting used to of course because you have to use your muscles to move the car at low speeds but the feedback through the wheel is incredible and there we go at the Autobahn now because the car is so direct so light and you have no power steering and a little bit more camber. The car does have like a mind of its own basically. So you just have to let the car walk a little bit. You just have to let it go. You, you can't be correcting everything because then you start over correcting. And uh, when you just let it go, it's fine. You just move around a little bit, but that's no problem. All right, so let's turn around and find out if the other side is a bit better. Oh man, the acceleration, braking, turning, it all happens so quickly, that is so nice. That of course is down to that low weight. Weight kills fun. Weight kills fun. This is the way to have the most fun on like a B road, I think. You know, just a light car. The four cylinder works absolutely fine. It's been developed as well, this engine to be as light as possible. But I do feel like this 300 horsepower, I feel like this should have been stock. Like, this extra 60 horsepower, which does make a big difference if you're, if the car only weighs 925 kilos. So I do feel like this is sort of the ideal power. If I would drive a stock one now, I think it would feel a little bit underpowered. Now let's see if we get some space. Top speed, 258 stock. I know that Thomas has done 292 on the speedo once, which is absolutely mental. We're at 250 now. Well, 292, you would need a lot of space. 292, I don't believe you. That is insane. I'm at 260 now. I don't feel like it's going any faster. Downhill here, maybe 260. Yeah. But that's basically it, come on. 
It's not go it's not going to do 292. No way. Oh that is quite intense. <laughs> 260 feels like 320 basically. Very, very nice. Thomas, you've got an awesome, awesome car. This tune definitely helps. And uh, man, it is a fun little car. Quite enjoyed that. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out the Italian tour if you are interested in that. And uh, well, you can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video on the right or go check out this playlist on the left. See you at the next one. Bye.